Hello, I'm Victor. Thanks for watching. Well, draining the Great Lakes, in particular, Lake Michigan. That is the subject here. And what I want to do in this video is show you what the lake usually looks like and then what happened during the polar vortex when the land kind of buckled up. And now this video, I have a, a three-part series. One video is where I kind of take a little more look down at all this stuff here. The only thing I want to do in this video is just give you a real good bird's eye view of the type of land that I'm talking about. This very rare land feature is uh, a land feature that has never been seen before by man until today, this year. This was all, this is all supposed to be underwater. But again, this video is just to give you a real good bird's eye view of the type of landscape that I'm talking about, where I collect some rocks, and then there's another video where I show you the actual rock collection. see the beach is way over there. Right now I'm standing on an island and there's another island right in front of me. This is very rare and very unusual. All of this uh, landscape, all these rocks haven't seen the light of day in hundreds if not thousands of years until this year. And you'll see more of it in the other video. But again, this video is just to give you a good bird's eye view of the landscape that I found. And again, folks, this is very rare. This is unbelievable. This gives you an idea of what the lake would look like if, well, if all of its water was gone. During the polar vortex, this land buckled up and it rose to the surface. This land, which is usually covered by sand and water, and I would, right now, I would be up to my neck in water had this not happened.
right here you can see where the original shoreline is. The present day shoreline is over here. And then the shoreline of the past is right here. All of the rocks from the previous beaches when the lake level was lower, and then the other rocks that are stuck in the clay that have jagged edges that were deposited during the glacial period, like these. have all been exposed now. Perhaps I can go up to the top of this hill and maybe give you a good downward view of this. Because this is unbelievable. You can see this little stream, this is where the lake is supposed to start. But then it all got drained. I'll go up here. all this again folks this is very rare never before seen landscape well that's pretty much it for that I hope you guys check out the other videos.